Today was my refeed day after a 72 hour fast. Uh, I'm going to be starting a 48 hour fast tomorrow. Well, today it's late, it's just uh, early morning here on December 30th. Uh, so, called into the Christian whistleblower tonight and uh, you know, let off a lot of uh, emotion and uh, got a lot off my chest. I talked about uh, actually another color, Mel. Actually, I was I was pretty much just gonna talk about my dad and a few other things, but there was a caller, Mel, that talked about her trauma she uh, went through and uh, the PTSD. So I started off by talking about my PTSD from my TBIs from 15 or so years ago. I've been dealing with uh, uh, that for for that time with my uh, hydrocephalus and other trauma from my head injuries. So I got that off my chest. Uh, she also mentioned that she has uh, ALS and that uh, she's talking about ticks and how they carry like Lyme disease and could be ALS, COPD as well, which is pretty shocking. So I started off the call after talking about that and my PTSD, letting Jeff know that uh, uh, my dad had COPD. And uh, I also told him that I'm glad I found his channel because this helped me a lot to kind of deal with what's been going on the last couple of years uh it's been a pretty tough couple of years uh dealing with my dad and then what happened to me in, Am in Edmonton so um yeah it's been a tough uh, uh oh yeah and then my mom was saying that uh that uh well my dad was telling her that uh he was not feeling well, obviously he's in lots of pain, and uh, he figures he's ready to go, so, I don't know, like, he's in a lot of pain, and I know, we have to, like, pick him up from, like, the couch, and, and go upstairs to bed, and, and he can barely do anything now, so he's in really rough shape, so, uh, Jeff said to me that he's ready to go, so that's a good thing, uh, he is going to the doctors tomorrow, they might have to, uh, like, he has been eating re recently, so that's good. Um, but uh, he was gaining weight, but then we realized that the, the fluid was coming back into... I didn't realize it at first, but the, the, the fluid was coming back into his belly. Uh, so that's where probably where the weight was coming from, and now he's not gaining much weight. Although he didn't eat the last couple nights for dinner, but he did eat tonight. He wanted his uh, shrimp uh, Alfredo. He really likes that, so my mom made him that. So, but other than that, he's been eating pretty consistent, so, but then again, he's also going one and two all the time, so he had an accident today, or he did it both at the same time, so, it's when you have colitis, and then the, he's got the bladder leakage, so it's, like, pretty, pretty much, like, brutal, like, uh, yeah, with his arthritis, he's got arthritis, he's got, uh, what else has he got, arthritis, well, COPD, um, uh, Arthritis is bad enough. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, diabetes. Um, all the complications with that. So he's all walking. Like it's been one thing after another the last five, ten years. Uh, I forget when he actually, uh, the first time he was really sick in Florida. But uh, that was like pneumonia. So he's had two boats of pneumonia. The last one was pretty recent. That's probably took a lot out of him. And then getting... Uh, Everything else after they get the second boat of colitis right after didn't help, and I guess it's been a lot worse. And then obviously getting this leak, bladder leakage, this is all together at the same time. It seems like it's all like when it rains, it pours. Like I was telling Jeff tonight, like or, or my buddy, I think I told him that, not Jeff, but uh, yeah, like me, <laughs> it seems like it all comes together all at once, not like not like spaced out. Um, but yeah, she's uh, pretty frustrated. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be a, like, I'm, I obviously don't want my dad to die, but, I mean, considering how bad he is, if he can't, if he can't get that rid of the colitis and all that other stuff, and he's in, like, he's in constant pain every day, like, it's just not pleasant, and to see my dad, like, fading away like that, it's like, because he was 189 pounds a few months ago, now he's down to, like, 150, uh, and but he's like, like my mom said he looks like the little african kids on on the on those uh commercials like he's all skin and bones and a big belly like because his belly is full of fluid right so which just came back recently so 
like and i would be like i got like last two was it two years ago when i was going through my thing with my roommates and theft and and fraud and that and 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 i was just losing that i almost had, i think i had a nervous breakdown i said i'd probably be the same way right now like i i don't i don't think jeff realizes how, like how much how, how much how many people he's helping not only mal that called in tonight uh, myself uh because i would I, i'm a pretty emotional guy so uh like i was i was i was emotionally on the phone talking to him tonight but i would have probably not been able to get through it uh but i kind of grown a lot over the last 10 years in Edmonton with the ups and downs and uh, what's happened to me. And uh, I'm still trying to stay positive. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, but uh, you just got to kind of move forward and uh, and hopefully eventually that uh, it'll all work out in the end. And he thinks it will and I'm, I'm hoping he's right. And I, I, and I feel that I, I feel good. Um, I'm, I'm real healthy doing a lot of fasting and stuff. So trying to stay healthy because I don't want to end up like my dad, unfortunately. Uh, like my brother said, all those years of, uh, you know, abusing his body and you know, eating terribly and, and drinking garbage and like pop and coffee and all that, you name it, donuts, you name it, he did it all. And they're just laying on the couch and, you know, not really doing much. So that I do not want to end up like that. And, uh, and, and I'm sure a lot of traumas over the years too. Like, I mean, lost his parents and, uh, a uh, bunch of different things like getting uh uh let go six months away from his pension and stuff like that just one thing after another you know yeah getting screwed over on a business deal for a hundred thousand dollars you know you know didn't seem like he did a lot of good but he, in the end he really got to and then obviously the thing that happened in florida i'll go into that more uh later but uh that uh that didn't end up well either uh, with insurance companies and and screwing him like they screwed me so uh, it seems like it's a uh, between a lot of correlations between him and i with uh with stuff like that but uh it's uh yeah we'll see what happens but uh, i got my fingers crossed i'm we're all hoping for the best for him so hopefully somebody out there can give him some positive energy and he can uh, bounce back and get back to being healthy and uh, you know get rid of this crap all this crap that he's been going through the last two three years so hopefully uh, it all works out in the end so uh, i'll be uh, every i just brought his ice up he likes his ice up at night so brought that up for him tonight and some more and ginger ale so hopefully he's feeling better tomorrow hopefully he's let in less pain and and uh move forward hopefully get some good positive news tomorrow when he goes to see the doctor so keep him in your in your thoughts uh and uh hopefully he uh he can get through this like he did the last uh, few things that he's uh, had to deal with